On 11th March, the Forum for Democratic Change Party Katonga faction commenced on a consultative process on which way to go. The options on table pertain to whether to form a new party, join the existing political parties, form a pressure group, dialogue with the Najanan Kumbi faction, or battle in the courts of law. This culminates from irreconcilable difference that the Katonga faction had with the Najanan Kumbi faction on what is said to have been that the Najanan Kumbi faction received dirty money. It is from this that I had a sit down with the Interim Secretary General of the FDC Katonga faction, Harold Kaija, to understand how far they have gone with the consultations. How many consultation meetings have you been able to hold and what is coming out of those consultative meetings? So we've already carried out seven. Uh, in those, the six, except, except for Kasese, we are, we are saying, all the chairpersons are saying that their districts want a new, a new formation. For Kasese, they said they had a chronology of how their decision must be get to. One, go and dialogue. Two, if you can't dialogue, go and force them out. How many consultative meetings in total do you intend we, to hold according to your plan? We had out 20. 20. So by Monday, we'll have 11. So we'll be only remaining with nine. So that will be good to go. And then we we'll have one confirmed, which will go to the 12th. So we can work around the clock and make about, if we make 17, that's a, a good performance. In all this, I've not heard you talk about uh, Karamoja subregion. Yes. Don't they matter to you? No, they do. I, I'll say they do, but as uh, uh, I think I didn't tell you, the, the way we arranged these consultations, we did uh, a kind of federal, that the subregions where we go, the organization is uh, anchored on the leadership. There is a belief that uh, this is just a formality because the popular opinion supposedly among the leadership of this group but also that is coming out from your members outside there is that it should be a new party. So is it a formality? Then that, then, then, that, then that ceases to be a formality. Formality would presuppose that uh, some individuals have decided but we want everybody on board. It is a very popular opinion as I've told you where we have moved. It is a popular opinion, but we want to, you know, to, to bring in everybody, knows, not those that we know, even those members we don't know. Because if you went and, and uh, decided on uh, a given position, and it is not popular among the support base, you may find it very hard to go and work with them. Our laws allow, uh, for example, serving uh, members of parliament or any person in elective positions, mm to only cross one year to the next election. Yes. Isn't this like buying time to allow those who are serving not to get into trouble, maybe if they decided today that there is a new party and they are no longer affiliated to the real FDC? If uh, on the field we decide on the formation of a new party, they could be supporters, but not members. You have seen independents attend the NRM meetings, but they are not NRM. So at the time when they are supposed to, to officially cross, eh, they come and uh, pick their membership. Let's uh, assume that the direction that uh, your members have agreed on will be the formation of a new party. Do you think you you will be a formidable force come the next general election? Because the time frame that we are left with, whereby you should be carrying a lot of activities, you know, to popularize the maybe the new party and so on, may not be enough. No, you see, I think you are thinking about a political party if you, Luanga, and another who have not been in the politics, or even other polit politicians go and sit and form a party. But we are talking about having structures from the bottom. These are the structures we are consulting. So eventually, if we are forming a party, it's like putting off this shirt, and I put on another, I remain myself. So those very people who have decided, who will go and sell their party. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Definitely we shall be waiting for the 15th Thank you, to see what happens. Thank you, TV. Um, Thank you very much. I am Jackson Onyango.